Hi, I am Teacher Daisy. Now, let's learn Form 4 Chemistry Chapter 2, Part 1, Matter and the Atomic Structure. In this part, you will learn 2.1 Basic Concepts of Matter and 2.2 The Development of the Atomic Model. 2.1 Basic Concepts of Matter Matter is anything that has mass and occupies space. Matter is classified as element and compound. An element is a substance that contains only one type of atom. A compound is a substance that consists of two or more elements chemically bonded together. Classification of particles. Particles consist of ions, atoms, or molecules. Ions are charged particles, which are positively charged, or negatively charged. Atom is the smallest particle, in an element. Molecule is a group of atoms, that are chemically bonded together. A molecule, that consists of one type of atom only, is a molecular element. A molecule, that consists of two, or more different types of atoms, is a molecular compound. A compound that is made up of nonmetal atoms normally consists of molecules. A compound that is formed from a combination of metal and nonmetal atoms normally consists of ions. States of matter Matter exists in three states solid, liquid, and gas. The kinetic particle theory is used to describe the three states of matter arrangement of particles, solid, liquid, gas, particle motion, for solid, particles can only vibrate and rotate about their fixed positions. For liquid, particles can vibrate, rotate, and move throughout the liquid. The particles collide with one another. For gas, particles can vibrate, rotate, and move freely. Collision rate is higher than the collision rate in liquid. Attractive forces between particles. Solid have very strong attractive forces between particles. For liquid, particles are bonded by strong attractive forces, but weaker than those in a solid. While gas have very weak attractive forces between particles. Energy content of particles. Solid have least energy content because of restricted motion. Liquid have high energy content, due to particles able to move easily. Gas has highest energy content, due to random motion of particles. Shape and volume. Solids have a fixed volume and shape. Solids cannot be compressed. Liquids have a fixed volume. Liquids do not have a fixed shape, but take the volume of the container. Liquids cannot be easily compressed. Gases do not have a fixed shape and volume. Gases can be easily compressed. Changes in states of matter. Evaporation. Evaporation occurs on the surface of liquid, and it is a vaporization of liquid. Evaporation takes place at all temperatures, between the melting point and boiling point. Melting, when a solid is heated, the particles gain kinetic energy, and vibrate more rapidly. Continued heating, will supply more energy to the particles, until the particles, can overcome the attractive forces between them, and break away from each other. Particles move away, from their fixed positions. At this point, the solid starts to change to a liquid. The temperature, at which a solid changes to a liquid, is called the melting point. Boiling. When a liquid is heated, the particles gain kinetic energy, and move more rapidly. Continued heating will supply more energy to the particles, until the particles can overcome the attractive forces, between them and escape. At this point, the liquid starts to become a gas. The temperature, at which a liquid changes to a gas, is called the boiling point. Freezing. 
When a liquid is cooled, the particles lose kinetic energy and move more slowly. Continued cooling will cause the particles to lose more energy and allow the formation of attractive forces between particles to bond the particles in fixed positions. At this point, the liquid starts to become a solid. The temperature at which a liquid changes to a solid is called the freezing point. Condensation When a gas is cooled, the particles lose kinetic energy and move more slowly. Continued cooling will cause the particles to lose more energy and allow the formation of attractive forces between particles to bond the particles more closely together. At this point, the gas starts to become a liquid. The temperature at which a gas changes to a liquid is called the condensation point. The condensation point is the same as the boiling point of the liquid. Sublimation When a solid is heated, the particles gain kinetic energy and vibrate more rapidly. Continued heating will supply more energy to the particles until the particles can overcome the attractive forces between them and break away from each other. Particles at the surface escapes from their fixed positions. At this point, the solid starts to change to a gas. The temperature at which a solid changes directly to a gas is called the sublimation point. Heating naphthalene, heating curve of naphthalene. At point A, naphthalene exists as a solid. When the solid is heated, energy is absorbed. This causes the particles to gain kinetic energy and vibrate more rapidly. The temperature increases from point A to point B. At point B, solid naphthalene starts to melt. During the melting process, the temperature naphthalene did not increase, even though the heating is continuing. The temperature remains constant, because the heat energy absorbed by the particles is used to overcome the attractive forces between particles so that the solid can change to a liquid. At this temperature, both solid and liquid are present. At point C, all the solid naphthalene has melted. From point C to point D, the particles in the liquid naphthalene absorb heat energy and move more rapidly. The temperature increases from point C to point D. At point D, liquid starts to boil. Cooling naphthalene, cooling curve of naphthalene. At point A, naphthalene exists as gas. At point B, gas starts to condense. At point C, naphthalene exists as a liquid. When the liquid cools, the particles in the liquid naphthalene lose kinetic energy. The particles move more slowly when the temperature falls from point C to point D. At point D, liquid naphthalene starts to freeze. During the freezing process, the temperature of naphthalene remains constant because the loss of heat to the surrounding is balanced by the heat energy liberated when particles attract one another to form a solid. At this temperature, both solid and liquid are present. At point E, all the liquid has frozen. From point E to point F, the particles in the solid naphthalene lose heat energy and vibrate more slowly. The temperature falls from point E to point F. 2.2 The Development of the Atomic Model Greek philosopher Democritus introduced the idea of atom from the Greek word atomos, around 450 BC. The historical development of the atomic model, John Dalton's atomic model, props by John Dalton in 1805, atom is the smallest particle in an element. All atoms of an element are the same. Different elements have different atoms. Atom cannot be divided, created, nor destroyed. Thomson's atomic model, proposed by J.J. Thomson in 1897, 
he discovered electrons in cathode rays. He proposed a plum pudding model. An atom is a positively charged sphere with electrons embedded in it. Ernest Rutherford's atomic model, proposed in 1911, discovered the proton inside the atom. He proposed a nuclear atomic model. The center of the atom contains positive charge concentrated in a very small region called nucleus. Most of the space around the nucleus is empty. Electrons move randomly around the nucleus. Niels Bohr's atomic model proposed in 1913 he introduced the concept of shells to the atomic model. Electrons orbit the nucleus in fixed shells. James Chadwick's atomic model, proposed by in 1932, he discovered the neutrons, neutral particles. Nucleus is made up of protons and neutrons. Electrons orbit the nucleus in fixed shells. Subatomic particles An atom is made up of even smaller particles, known as subatomic particles. There are three types of subatomic particles, which are proton, neutron, and electron. Protons and neutrons are in the nucleus of an atom. Electron moves in the outer shell, outside the nucleus. The relative charge and mass of the subatomic particles are as shown. Protons are positive and has charge of positive 1, neutrons are neutral and has no charge. So the nucleus is positively charged and almost all the mass is concentrated here. Electrons is negative and has charge of negative 1. Electron has very small mass compared to proton and neutron. If you like this video, don't forget to like share and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.